Five to nine. She is Cheryl's last act in The X Factor this year, but will some of her mentors' chart success keep rubbing off on her over the coming weeks? Lauren Platts, the youngest solo artist in the contest. And even after a bumpy show at Halloween, she's one of the favourites to take the top spot. She's with us now. Morning. Morning. We're going to talk to you in just a moment, but let's remind our viewers how you surprised everyone with her version of Farrell Williams' song, Happy. It seems crazy what I'm about to say. Very interesting version of Pharrell Williams' Happy. And it's moments like that that help define you on a programme like The X Factor. Oh, yeah, did, you, did you think when you were rehearsing that and you were putting that together that that could be the thing? The week leading up to it, I was so nervous for it because when I first came on the show, I sort of, I was a bit of a a boy like like I wore like baseball jerseys and Timberlands and stuff like that so to be going up there in a pink sparkly shirt singing a song that's not a ballad because that's what I'd done the whole way through was really really nerve-wracking and then as soon as I did it I came off and I was like that worked so well to the point where I had wanted to completely change myself through this competition so I was certainly not in tracksuits now. No, not not in baseball jerseys anymore. And it's worth reminding people, Lauren, you what you were six, was it sixteen when you started the process? Yes, sixteen years old. Yeah, I was I was seventeen a couple of weeks into living in the house. Right. I mean, because you you are the youngest contestant in the show. Yeah, youngest uh, solo. Yeah, and how is that? How's that been for you? Because it's the X Factor. Anyone, we've met quite a few of them who come on here, and they say the you know the spotlight, the pressure, yeah. the interest from the media, from people like us. That's quite intense at any point. But at your age, I mean, that must be quite something. I get so well looked after at the show, and not just by the team, by the other contestants as well. Like there are people like Ben Hay now that would break his neck to make sure I'm okay. So I've I've got a lot of good people around me, and obviously like. Even though I'm not living at home, my family are up there every single weekend, so it's like I never left, really. <laughs> um, we spoke about the good moments, happy, and we also spoke about, when we were introducing you, a rocky moment. And we've yeah. got a clip of, it was the Halloween mm. um, performance, or we've got a, we can show the pictures and just tell us, I mean, you do go through a trauma. Seventeen when, by the time you were in the house, yeah. it's a lot to take on. To be honest, I feel very lucky with the comments that I've got so far. So to have a little bit of constructive criticism is going to do nothing but help me. So I was, I was actually quite happy that like they're thinking of ways to say, right, this is how you can make yourself better because that's all, at the end of the day, when we get bad comments, we actually want to get bad comments in a funny way so we know what we can bring back next week. So long as they're constructive, I as, suppose. Yeah, That's the difference, isn't it? As long as they're constructive. <laughs> yeah. Now, you mentioned your family, and people yeah. have seen... Uh, the way that the show works is we, we see them, don't they? Going yeah. through the, the delights and the agonies and the worry of watching you perform. They, they go through <laughs> it, don't they? Yeah, they really, really do. Because like, the studio's not very big, so when I'm standing on stage, I can see every member of my family sitting in the audience because they're always quite near the front and the looks on all their faces before I start performing and especially on the results literally like my dad like stands there and he goes like and I'm like <laughs> I'm fine it doesn't look like you are <laughs> do you do you see is it helpful to have that eye contact or is yeah. it distracting what, how, how does that work it is it I thought it'd be very very distracting so for the first couple of weeks I completely dismiss the fact that they were there while I was singing and during the results but I, I sort of a few weeks in found comfort in it in looking over and seeing that they're there especially in my last performance and um, there was like a camera that I particularly had to keep looking at and they were right behind that camera so it kept looking like I was looking at them but it was it was nice to know that they were there. Are you enjoying the experience because I know you've got a throat infection at the moment yes. I mean the media Newspapers are going to have stories, they're going to try to dig up stories about you and I imagine your family gets very hurt or very protective over you about that. How are you coping with all of that? Because it, it goes with it, doesn't it? it goes yeah, with oh, the yeah, it comes with it and my family are very, very good with stuff like that. Like, There's been a couple of things in the paper where I've wronged my dad and gone, oh, dad, I can't believe, blah, 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 especially as it's not true. And he's like, so? Like, it's going to happen. That's, that's how it works and that's realistically what I sign myself up for, literally sign myself up for. So there's nothing I can do about it. And 
like they say, there's no such thing as bad publicity, I guess. So you're and just where, embracing where, it. Yeah. <laughs> and, before, and before you entered the competition, where had you sung previously at all? No, nowhere really. In no. your bedroom? Yeah, and I did like a couple of things around my area and, and stuff, but bef straight before the competition, I was, I was doing my GCSEs, so that kind of took priority for a little while. And I, th I remember there was, there was a period where I literally hadn't sung anywhere for like two months because of my GCSEs, and I was like, oh my God, like, how am I ever going to go into the X Factor not having sung for like two months? Well, it's going right so far. Yeah. Big you... band week this week, isn't it? Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Looking forward to it? I'm nervous for it. It's... It's not every day that you get to sing on stage with a 30-piece band behind you. Enjoy it. We wish you well. well Good thank luck. Thank you. Good luck with the throat as well. Thank you so Thanks much. very much for joining us, Laurie. Uh, X Factor reminder for you on Saturday, quarter past eight on ITV.